guys, what's going on? RC Styles here for Gamers Purgatory. And I have a friend out there, actually I have a couple friends out there that uh, would like to be able to edit their own videos. And, um, I mean, I am by nowhere, no means a professional at it, but I figured I'd record how I do my edits and uh, send them the video. So basically what you're looking at here is Filmora 9. This is my editing software. And inside my Filmora 9, if you can see my icon here, I have the main video, which is this right here, my outro, my intro, my logo, because this particular video does not have the logo already mounted because I didn't do it with OBS, I did it with um, the built-in PS5 software, and then these two things are my graphics that I want to in in enter into the whole thing. So first what you're going to do is you're going to want to go ahead and get your stuff lined up in the order that you want it to be in. So first I start with my logo. Then because there's no secondary, I mean, I'm sorry, my intro. And then because there's no secondary intro for this one because it's just one of my standard videos. It's not like a Time Warp or Friday Night Frights or anything. Or a Micah Plays. There'll be the video next. So you put that down. And you gotta let everything load in. I mean, like you can do other stuff or everything, but you're not gonna mess with this yet. I'm gonna explain that here in a second. At this point, I like to make sure I save everything there. Because now we're gonna start chopping this thing up. First, I will up, up my audio until it's just about matched to the intro. Next, I will queue up my thing by double clicking and making sure the red line is right there. And I'll start playing into the video until I hear myself speak. What's going on, gamers? So there we heard me say something. I want to back it up to right before I start talking. I'm going to hit this cut video here. Highlight the piece that I want to delete. Right click to get this menu. Delete and it automatically snaps the video back into place. Now with my Fortnite videos, particularly Fortnite fuckeries where we do gameplay and everything else like that, we speak real freely when I'm in a group during the lobby and loading screen times. So for my final video, I want to cut out some of that stuff. Now I'm not going to get every bad word or every uh, not necessarily agreed with gesture that's caught on camera because, well, I'm just not. So I'm going to just go ahead and scroll through. You can either scroll through or watch the video. Usually I start right after I finish my intro. So let me go all the way over here because this is more than likely where I stop talking. Let me press play again. As I have. Back it up just a little bit to make sure the last thing I'm saying isn't anything I'm seeing. Sleepy. Anyway, let's go ahead and start looking at the jungle hunter on this first up is going to be finding a mysterious pod. Alright, so we'll pause, we'll cut there, and then we'll forward track it, and you can see up in the display screen up there how it's being forward tracked. Until we're into the gameplay. And I don't mean like the waiting screens or anything else like that. One second, guys. Let me let me pause this. Sorry about that. I had to take a phone call. But as I said, we're we're going ahead here. And because in this video my buddy had just joined, we're gonna make sure that after we cut this part, that we make sure that we recognize the fact that he has joined by adding in a lower third for him. But first we want to cut out that piece of dead, what, I'm, what I call dead because it's not being used. Snaps that back into place. Now, like I said, we want to make sure we give him acknowledgement. Now he's not considered staff or team, he's just a guest, a friend that comes in, so I'll use just a very standard lower third for him. And click that there. Double click it to be able to access it. 
You can do bold italics, you can change the font, but we're not going to do anything really special here. We're just going to put his name in. There you go. We'll come over here after we hit the OK, and we'll just adjust it slightly. And there's his name. Now, being that some of his name can't be seen because my face is down there, we need to actually bring it here. And drop it down. And there we go. So again, save your project because you just added and took out a bunch of crap. And then we continue scanning our video. And we'll face fast forward through all of this. We're not cutting any of this. We're just fast forwarding to the next part where we're in the lobby. So we're at the end there of that match. I'm going to go back to right where we dropped. And it announces our place. I'm going to cut the video here. I'm going to cut this end off. And even though I'm cutting this off, we can still use it for a later video because I have it in my source folder. Which you usually tend to make two or three videos out of one fuckery because it tends to be about an hour or so long. So we'll cut out that last piece. Wait, let me go back here. I would cut out the lower third. I apologize for that. Let me redo this. Make sure it still says they poppy. Yes, it does. Then we'll go back to where we just were. And that's where we died. And that's where I had cut the video. So let me hit this again. There, that's what was supposed to happen. Now, we don't want to put our outro on here yet. <clears throat> and the reason being is because I like to jump back to the beginning. And now I'm going to put my lower third in, which I've already had customized. And you can see it here. That's my lower third. Now you can customize a lower third by going up into your title area. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK here. But go up into your titles, select like lower third, put it together, and then right at the very bottom corner, right around here, you'll get the uh, option to save as custom. You can see I have a Winterfest one, and then I have the normal GP one right here. We're taking the normal GP. Now we get to jump back to the end, but we're still not popping in our lower thirds yet. I'm sorry, we're still not popping in our outros yet. We're going to go back to where you hear me say hit that like and subscribe button. Oh, we got somebody straight ahead. Yep. Up. Oh. Away the car. So in I cannot believe that just happened. In this particular hey, case, I didn't say it in this video, or actually I said it at the end of the actual video, but that's okay. In this particular case, instead of adding the graphic in, and I'll show you how I would have done it, say I started talking about, oh, you hit the like and subscribe button here, I would put this block right around the time where I start saying that. Then I can double click, and manipulate it to where I want it to be. Usually I would put it down in the corner or something else like that, but in this case, since we're gonna have to put it at the end, we're gonna keep it there, we're gonna drop it here. 
Also, when this graphic hits the notification part and I also say notification bell and everything, I usually add another graphic in, which is this kick ass graphic right here. And I'll add it in over top of where it would say notification bell, adjust its size and copy it up to six times to make a little block so that way it looks like the guy's repeatedly kicking the other guy in the ass over and over again. But being that this particular video does not have me giving a vo vocal outro, we're going to put this at the back and then we're going to put our outro there. Now we have everything where it needs to be. We have a full video. At this point, you can go back and review it in its edited form before you export it. But I have done this so many times that I'm pretty confident that I have everything where I want it to be. So after you save again, you can hit out export. You're going to choose what format you want your video to be in. If you want it to just be audio, there's your audio. If you want it to be a picture with moving parts, there's a picture with moving parts. And I believe that's also what the other stuff here is as well, difference depending on video or audio. Here you're going to label it again. You will not be able to paste your title in like I did for the save part. So normally what we do is we'll abbreviate it. Fuckery. And I'll just say one. I'll export it. Oh, let's just export page. Okay, this is telling me right now that I need to move something around in my source folders because I'm also doing some pre-recorded material and because I'm doing that pre-recorded that pre-recorded material there's a lot of used space in that area right now so uh, what you can't see on the screen right now is just me moving that around so what I'm doing is I'm moving that folder that has a lot in it over to my desktop to make some space And you can see what's popped up right there. It's about 30 gigabytes being transferred. So let me move that, minimize that, and then I'm going to pause this video and I'll be right back with that after it's done so we can finish off what we're doing here. Alright guys, sorry about that delay. Um, so we moved that file and we're back here in the, in the export screen. Like I said, I, you can always abbreviate it. because after it's done we can just paste our title back in there so we'll export it and for me it's going to an external drive where I keep all my gamers purgatory related material I'll show you where that is in just a few seconds as you can see it doesn't take much time at all to export So just take about 30 seconds from this point anyway old copy of this on my old computer man it took hours to render so I'm very grateful that this new version of Filmora plus the work the help from my new computer is making this fast it allows me to actually do more edits and produce more videos a day than what I was able to do before Now you can find other similar free programs and everything else like that, uh, but not everything is going to allow you to do what you can do in Filmora. Filmora offers you a lot of customization with your titles, your audio, your transitions, your effects, and everything. All I can tell you is shoot a, shoot a, a mock-up video and, and just play around with it. And another way I look at doing edits on this thing, and it's almost like 2D Legos, man. Because you have your main video here, and then you stack what else you want on top of it, where you want it to show up. And that's about the simplest part of it. I mean, there's more advanced editing techniques that I may not know of. Hey, man, I'm not 100% I'm not professional at this. And hey, my way may not necessarily be the 100% absolute right way, but it works for me. So now we have a six minute video completely done. And what we can do, we can close out the editor and then we can go into our file folder which I'm going to pull up here and then move from this screen to the uh, screen that you guys are watching right now so that way you can see what I'm doing and for me it's an RTU folder which means ready to upload 
There's Fuckery. Let me change the title. Whoops. And there's the title. And let's go ahead and take a look at how it looks. I'll double click it. And it's going to tell you that it's not in the same format we used before, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead and make it our default. And now it popped up over on this other screen. Give me a second and I'll pull it over. And here's what our final video looks like before we're ready to upload it. Looks good. So that's basically in a nutshell how I do my edits. I hope this helps you out to do your edits. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. Smash that notification bell so you don't miss out on other kick-ass content from me and Gamers Purgatory and how-to videos. Hey, if this kit, if this sticks, we'll do more. Um, and until then, I'll see you in a regularly scheduled program. And again, I hope this helps people. Peace.